Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Annalise at Dawn. We're going to be finishing off with the match between Flipstep and Floris, who hasn't actually been playing in a while, but we'll see how they do. But yeah, Floris, who you may know is the person who I often co commentate tournaments with. Oh, which, speaking of which, there probably is going to be a tournament next week, which will be 1v1. Sorry, I should have mentioned that sooner, but there also should have been an announcement yesterday. I don't know why there hasn't been. Like, we supposed to be the Friday before. The Friday a week before the tournament, but whatever. So yeah. Gonna be getting on to this. So Archer's Valley, a map which I haven't cast in a while. It's a fairly macro-oriented map. Very, very feast-oriented. Not as big as it looks. Still fairly big. I think it's 16 by 16. Looks huge, though. And it's... But yeah, it's not as big, so you can use bots fairly effectively. And that's exactly what both players are doing right now. Kalikibot versus Shieldbot. Slightly unconventional, but still quite useful, and that is going to be... So Flora's going for the Shieldbot, and Fibstep going for the Kalikibot. And that's... that'll be interesting. And we saw last time with Kalikibot versus Shield, Orphelius and Sprung, that Orphelius switched off entirely to heavy tanks. They stopped using Cloaky after a while. And I mean, Cloaky's weakness has always been late game. So I'll see. we'll see if Flipstep goes for something different late game, just drops Cloaky completely and only uses it for the early game Glaives. That seems like it could be what it is that's actually made Cloaky unpopular. But anyway, Floris, same with their defenses, same with their... Okay, expecting an attack from the north. Interesting. Which is actually how Flipstep is playing to attack. It's going up to the north side and attacking there. Flipstep, on the other hand, not expecting any attacks whatsoever. Getting a defender, but that's standard procedure. Not expecting any cheese around the back, though, and Flores, however, is. Like I said, they are right to. Also, pushing forward a little bit, just to be sure. And Flores, are they aware of what's going on? They have some radar coverage, but they don't actually know. Flips up on the other hand... ...does not know either. Hmm. Yeah. Oops. So Flipstep right now, neither player really knows what the other one is. And Floris, with those bandits, will be able to protect that metal extractor. And now finally sees the incoming glaive. Flipstep quickly moves away, but that's going to be... that's not really going to be a big deal. I mean, the big question is when Flipstep goes to the main attack, which we see right now. And that's not going to do anything. But Flipstep, I mean, they're playing. both players are playing bots, so the entire map is available. There's basically nowhere that's not pathable. Which is why bots are often used in this map. Vehicles are useful. This map is flat and fairly large. But because of all these hills, bots can do a lot of tricks that vehicles just can't do. But at this point, Flipstep, they're eking ahead in economy. Very slightly, but they are eking ahead. It's at the point where it's going to come down to the first fight as to who has the advantage, and then from there it's going to be a matter of economy. Right now it's fairly even, and Flores and Flipstep meeting up. Flipstep about to lose a glaive or two. One glaive goes down, and... No, not quite. Doesn't quite go down. Just barely stays alive. That was close. And another set of glaives coming along the north side. Flores' commander is the only thing in the way... Level 1 with Life Particle Beam, but we'll be able to take care of the Glaives then, that's not going to be a problem. Well, the south side... Yeah, Flora's going down here. Does Flora's have radar yet? Well, this far out. No, not that far out. And Bandit's getting flanked. These Bandits are not in the position they want to be in. But actually, despite getting flanked, it's not doing them too much harm. Ooh, well, okay, it did kill them, but they managed to get... They managed to pretty much get their cost and glaze dead. And that's closer to Floris' territory, so if Floris can claim that, can walk down there and claim it, that's reclaim for them. And this is most certainly reclaim for them. Which they're, of course, taking advantage of. Nice cut off on the retreat, too. Very nice to see that. So Floris cutting off Flipstep's retreat. Flipstep continuing to expand, as is Floris, but Floris not expanding as quickly. Now three metal behind and needing far more energy, needs a couple more solar plants. Or maybe some wind generators. Floris, mostly focused on solar plants, does have a couple winds. But 0.2 to 2.5 is not reliable. 
Yeah, Floris wants to get some power will want to get some power plants pretty soon. But at this point, that outlaw's too far back. Rogue going up front, but Flipstip Flipstip has the units there. Floris knows about them. Floris is fully aware of these units coming in here, so that was a bit of a mistake. Actually, not a bit of a mistake. That was actually a pretty big mistake. Flor Flipstep might be able to capitalize on this to take back that reclaim. Ooh! What the? Ah, okay. There we go. I can't believe I missed that roach. Good roach, though. Really good roach. It's like, why isn't the allies going forward? Of course, because there's a roach there. But yeah, that was, that was actually really good. Nicely done. That was a tricky to see roach. The commentator doesn't see it. You know it's well hidden. Nice trap, though. So that that does leave the outlaws forward to defend. And that... Yeah. <laughs> As Flipstep points out, why is there no support here? Okay, whatever. I guess Floris is being stupid. Boom! Oh, never mind. Floris is actually being very smart. Something like that. Anyway. <laughs> Floris is proud of that. Unfortunately for Floris, Flipstep has taken a lot of the map. Like, a lot of the map. And that's... That's presenting some issues logistically for Floris right now. I mean, they have if they have the commander that far forward. That is a juicy target, but not really viable. And the reclaim field has basically been claimed. That's 200 metal worth of reclaim. On okay, actually that has been oh it hasn't been claimed yet. Another so 400 metal worth of reclaim right there. Floris is not grabbing the reclaim. They really need to, and they need more power again. As do we all. Needing energy is a common problem. At least, I know it's a problem that I have. Building enough power plants is always kind of tricky to remember to do. You don't want to build too many, and it's also a thing that's not directly useful, but it's directly useful. It's just not immediately useful. Yeah, with all the reclaim that's going to be coming in, that's... That is a big deal. And Floris giving away their position on the hill here, but... That just means the rocks can hit them. I mean, they're probably scouting for ticks. That's what you do. I mean, that's what outlaws do that for. You ever wonder why the outlaws have that pulse on? It's because they're scouting for ticks or roaches. They don't need to use it if it's just glaives or bandits coming at them or whatever other raiders. If that's coming at them, it's irrelevant. So this is where an air assault would come in handy. And Floris instead going for light vehicles, probably for wolverines. Wanted to get that minefield up there. Just deal with that from afar. It's unlikely they'd be going for Impalers. Wolverines are kind of the go-to vehicle option for dealing with defended areas. And no, in fact, Slasher and Leveler. Interesting choice. Not as effective as an artillery piece, but a bit more flexible. And that's what I meant by ticks. Luckily for Flipstep, on, sorry, for Floris rather, only one of them died, but still, or one of them got, it's dead now. Only one of them got stunned. Yeah, Flipstep's economy just growing and growing and growing. This is not good for Floris. I still don't understand the point of the slashers there. I I would have expected Wolverines just to take care of this area. Just knock that back. Get Flipstep off of this big metal extractor. That's four metal extractor plus or plus four metal extractor with 50% overdrive. That's plus six right there. And Floris continuing to get harassed at the same time. Flips up just everywhere all at once. Nice! At least pinning them a little bit. And those outlaws doing the job. Floris unfortunately not paying enough attention here, or if they are, they're just risking that outlaw. Not unfortunately able to get rid of those glaives in time. Not enough outlaws with the Lotus support. But still, that's enough overall to deal with this. Or should be. Those outlaws get close enough. There we go. Got rid of that eventually. But yeah, those outlaws are dead. The best they can do is deal with damage they can to turn this into scrap metal, but this is going to get reclaimed. So unfortunately for Floris, this is not a strong position. And that was the majority of their army too. So Floris right now, not happy. They do have power though. They do have enough power to make this work. They are getting some caretakers out to at least build quickly. But forward gunship plant coming in from Flipstep. The Slashers have not really done much yet. They're their defenses. I mean, they're basically just forward defenders, or moving defenders. And the outlaws managing to escape. Really close, though. They, I said escape, 
There we go. That's better. That's what they should be doing in the first place. Not sitting and dying. Sitting and dying is typically unwise, and should not be done, ever. Like, seriously. There's no reason to sit and die. Fortunately, the bandits cannot get through these Rockos. Too many Rockos. The outlaws are going to kill themselves instead. I don't know why. That makes no sense strategically, but I think that was a mixed micro. I think that was a misclick. Floris getting... Shield bot on top of this? What is Floris doing? They're going for shield bot. I'm sorry, they had the shield bot before. They're going for cloaky bot on top of all this. My mistake. I don't know what they're planning on doing. Gremlins, I suppose, with the anti-air, but I was guessing Wolverines here, and they didn't go for that, which would have been handy. Because, well, they wouldn't have had to deal with as much crap. Yeah, right now, this the slashes are... They aren't as effective as Wolverines would have been by now. Like, Wolverines would have probably torn this area apart. From further away. Slash is, on the other hand, having a bit of a harder time actually making this work. And... The bandits... Eh, able to deal a bit of damage to the Rockers, but not enough. Mansion to get rid of... Well, let's get rid of some expansions here and there. Dealt some damage. Wasn't totally worthless, but still, the Slasher's going down. All the... The entire Slasher line going down. Over to the north, bandits getting torn apart. Like, this Cloakula factory better do something good, because I don't see it. I just don't see it. Oh, never mind. The Slasher's moved away. My mistake. But yeah, the Slasher's getting out of the way, which is wise, but still kind of difficult to work with. Bandit harassment finally getting stopped at the main base. Floris still behind economically, but not as behind as before. However, that center metal extractor still under control of Flipstip. That's causing a lot of problems. That that is... Flipstip's... A quarter of Flipstip's economic advantage comes from that one metal extractor. I mean, there are more metal extractors to destroy, and they are going to be assaulted pretty heavily. Actually, this entire area here should be torn apart very soon. Yeah, not much is going to stop this. Except the levelers themselves. Probably going to blow itself up. But, yeah, other than that, this area down here, at least some damage has been dealt, but there's enough reclaim that's not going to be a problem yet. Actually, it won't be a problem for the rest of the game, honestly. There's enough reclaim that it will not be a problem, ever. And Floris barely able to hold on to their base. Essentially, Flipstep has just not attacked Floris' main base yet. It's not a bad assault, but this is this needs to move. And, ah, the leveler moving into the, into the Zeus, that is not what it wants to do. I mean, I guess it's spotting for the Slasher, which is good. But there just aren't enough Slashers. There just are not enough units. The western side is open. At least Flipstep no longer has control of that. But yeah, it's just not working. Bit of damage being dealt where it can, but honestly, not enough. There just isn't enough damage being dealt around the map. And are they going for glaives? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think Floris was just trying to do anything they could. I mean, at this point, we're dealing with the well standard cloaky bot late game. Well, Wolverines would actually work really well if you had the Light Vehicle Factory. That would be very effective. And... Yeah, it would also be effective against this. Also, if you want, you can go for the air. I mean, rape, Rapiers do well against Cloakybot. Against the Cloakybot ground game. Phoenixes are kind of a standby, but not... Like, they can work. It's a, it requires some support. Rapiers are going to be super effective, though. A Grapeers one-shot Glaives. Rockos can't really deal with them. The Zeus has... Oh, another tick? Good tick. Yeah, the Zeus presents another problem, but... Otherwise, not really. There's not much that you have to deal with. And... Bandit getting around for harassment. Nice placement. Well done by Flores. Just... Just staying outside of defense range. Could kill that Metal Extractor, though. Yeah, I think that... Basically, Floris has forgotten how useful Wolverines are, because Wolverines didn't used to be that useful. There's probably some muscle memory involved. And with the commander down, I think Floris is going to throw in the towel. See? Oh, I was right! Exactly right! Floris is playing as if it was 2007. Which is years before I even found this game in any capacity, let alone started playing it regularly. So yeah, that's... That's that. 
I guess it's not terribly surprising, but I mean, Flores did a pretty good job pushing. I thought that assault there was nice. The roach use was beautiful. That roach attack there was, the roach trap rather, was great. The only problem really was lack of economy and lack of artillery dealing with these defenses. Like Wolverines would have, they might have turned the game around, but they would have made it a lot more even. Getting rid of the center, possibly helping just get rid of a lot of other areas too. But the center being open would have meant just losing that fire base for Flipstep. And that territory would have been gone. It would have been harder for them to deal with the rest of the map. Because that's center max. That is plus four on its own. That is the only one that's plus four on its own, too. Right, they don't show above. I gotta fix that. That's the only one that's plus four, which, like I said, you can't see right now unless I highlight it. But, yeah, that's the thing. That's a pretty big deal. I never understood why these are drawn on the map. Just as a side note, why is this drawn on the map? It should be drawn on the screen. I should probably deal with that at some point. But that's not my priority right now. It's drawn through terrain, which is good. It just needs to be drawn on the screen itself, not on the map. Hmm. Well, anyway. Yeah, thanks for watching. That is going to be it for me tonight. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can draw text on the screen. It's a draw... It's a GL function like anything else. You just... Do it during the draw screen pass. Fairly certain that can just be drawn on screen. Anyway, I mean, I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to deal with it right now, or this weekend, or anything like that. Just pointing it out there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and have a good night, everyone.